Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be uh, jumping on Bill Burr. He's one of my absolute favorite comedian. I love his comedy, I absolutely love it. I love his rants, I love his angry face and especially the imitation he does. They are absolutely, absolutely brilliant and they are hilarious. So today I'm going to be reacting to Bill Burr women psycho robots and I believe I've seen this and I know it's still gonna crack me up no matter how many times I watch this because like I mentioned many times before it's the comedian that catch your attention the way they tell a story how it is that you relate to or even find it funny so that's why I'm gonna do this clip today so without any delays let's get to Bill Burr women or psycho robots so here we go And I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I've realized this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. <laughs> Either I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna end up being that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong. Kid, just, uh, I, I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't say that to Yeah, fuck it, say it. Say it. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, it's the, the, the evil that just, just opens up. It's just, you know... I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off, like, I don't want to come off here like a woman here, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be, like, relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to And you literally, you know? Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more your life away, you know? <laughs> just waking up inch by inch, and every day, just... <laughs> <coughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out! So one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? Man, I love no, this I'm guy. To, I'm trying to learn how to, how to pick my battles with my girl, you know? It's what I am, you know? I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. <laughs> Some days, they, they come at you. <laughs> you, just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, hey, get a picture. We have a picnic, you bring the good bank and you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta... Just create this perimeter, something for them to bounce off, like... <laughs> and you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. <laughs> and they start coming back and... Go see my parents! No, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for him to stop. Exactly. You know why? Because you can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable Absolutely. to kick the shit out of me? <laughs> I know, right? Dude, Who I wouldn't? would be trashing everybody I saw. <laughs> See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, I go to the fucking gym, slap his protein shake out of his head, fuck yourself, right? Like the protein shake out of his But I can't do that, there. right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face, totally acceptable, acceptable, right? Yeah. <laughs> but with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. <laughs> that they can do stuff worthy well. of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. To, like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da! I did that shit. <laughs> oh yeah! And I was so 
proud of my work. I stuck around to see your reaction. Oh. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're like, key your car, sign their name. Oh. Susan did this shit! <laughs> they're sitting like, now, nah, okay, your signature behind. for a couple of... Oh. I feel bad for women behind. that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. <laughs> Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? It's good for you. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I know. It hurts, you know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears it your clears head. It yeah. <laughs> and it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed, but at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> and I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd like make that adjustment. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just gonna say this kind of thing. So that was <laughs> Bill Burr, Women, Psycho Robots. And as I mentioned, I've seen it so many times. And yet it never disappoints me how brilliant he is with the whole storytelling. Like, I. I just love Bill, man. You don't understand. His angry rants are just out of this world. Like, he really goes at it. And it is, like I said, it's not the topic. It's how the comedian tells the joke that makes it funny. So that's the beauty of it. He's literally talking about, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hitting a woman. And yet he's telling it as a joke. Like, don't fucking do it. It's just a fucking joke. So don't get your panties in a twist. You know what I mean? Like, it's brilliant. It's this shit like this that makes me uh, laugh out loud uh, um, because of all of these comedians. They know what they're talking about. They tell you a story. They make you think, and yet they make you laugh at the same time. That's how it's exactly supposed to be, because comedy has no boundaries. Comedy is just comedy, and yet it can leave a good, positive message as well, if you pay attention to it as well. Like, it is just brilliant. I love it, man. I really enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.